Now we're up to step three. We're going to use eye triplets in Cutie Pie. And you have color A, color B, color C. Your all over color, your contour, and your liner that you can use wet or dry. We're going to use Chisel Super Deluxe Fluff Brush with color A. And we're going to blend this all over Erin's lid. The Chisel Super Deluxe Fluff Brush is a great brush because it picks up the shadow and deposits it directly on the skin. You won't get any of that little eyeshadow fallout that you get a lot of the time with other longer haired brushes. There we go. The Chisel Double Shader Brush is one of my favorites. It's shaped like a V in a point. My personal nickname for this brush is the no-brainer brush because it makes that contour crease thing like a no-brainer. Most of the time women have the hardest time doing that. We're going to take the actual point of the brush and put it into color B. Just look down for me. I'm going to put the point of the brush right in the outer corner of Aaron's eye and just swish it halfway in, halfway out. And the shape of the brush does all the work for me. Open. Gorgeous down, point here, swish, swish, swish. Now you might be asking yourselves, how am I going to do this on myself? Well, if your mirror is on the wall, it's very easy. Mirror, mirror on the wall. You're not going to go like this, and you're not going to pull your eye. You're just going to tilt your chin back, and you'll be able to see your eyes in the mirror, put the point of the brush here, and swish it back and forth. The next step is with our Camouflage Angle Detailer Brush. It's angled to fit right on the lash line, making the liner very easy to apply. Now just because it's called eyeliner does not mean that you should draw a line. Always make itty bitty dashes and dash it on. Close please. My pinky is on Erin's face to keep it nice and steady, and I'm making itty bitty dashes, and I'm pressing the color in. You can use this wet or dry. I'm currently using this dry on Erin. Dry will give you a softer effect and wet will give you a more defined effect. And you make itsy bitsy dashes, connect the dashes and dash them on. Open. Gorgeous. Now again, when you're doing this on yourself, don't go like this or pull your eye. Just tilt your chin back. Hold your brush the way you would hold a pencil. Put your pinky on your face. It keeps your hand nice and steady. Have the longer point toward your nose and make itty bitty dashes and dash it on. Let's get Erin's other side. Close. My pinky's on her face to keep it nice and steady and I make itty bitty dashes and dash it on. Just because it's called eyeliner, remember do not draw a line. Make itty bitty dashes and connect the dashes to form a line. Erin has the liner on the top. She does not have any liner on the bottom at this point in time. And wearing liner on the bottom, you have to be a little careful because we just put that Mommy's Little Helper concealer down under the eye to cover the darkness. When you put a line there, you're drawing attention to that area you just covered up. If you want to put a little, I would recommend, look up please, put just a quarter of the way and press it in under the lash line as tight as you can. Look up again. I'm just taking what's ever left over on my brush and pressing it in to Erin's lash line.